we're alive in one minute. You see right there? I hope. Let me go check my page. But can't they still see us? They may be able to. Mute? At least the replay. Where is my page? Someone's calling you. Oh man. I declined it. Okay. Alright, so are we going to paint this at all on the side? No, it's too late now. Alright, maybe we will later after the video. Are we live? Um, oh, it still says one minute. Nope, not, not on my page. Of course, Adam comes home right now. Do we need to open up everything and stir? No, that we're going to do it on the live. Well, I mean, you've already taken off the tape or like cut the tape and ready to open it, right? Yeah. All right, have we put the dots on the back? Yep. Yes. He's got this under control. Do we not want to go ahead and open this? Sure. <laughs> I told you it wasn't ready. I was still trying to explain to you what I have set up. Twenty. Look, we'll be right yeah. there. <laughs> That's kind of cool. I like was trying to explain to you everything that I had set up, and then you said, "Oh, we're going live." I'm like, "Okay, mm, not ready. Just gotta dive in." And you, how do you, you dive in? And you don't know what you're doing yet, mother, daughter. Two, one. <laughs> and waiting for the video to start. Hopefully, oh, we are on. There we are. Yay, it's working. All right, forgive the dogs. We had some people, um, children just come home from school and work, and the dogs are going cray cray. All right, so welcome, welcome. I'm Julie Samaka with Southern Charm Reads, where we make beautiful reads and teach you how to make and sell them. In the wreath shop, I have Miss Kay, my lovely daughter. Hi. And we are playing with our chalk couture. We got some new um, transfers. I was like, what are they called, Caitlin? Transfers. Um, and we're going to also have some new chalk paste. Some new, new colors. Yep. So we're going to play around with that and um, thought you might want to join us. We Do have four different things set up to show you all. Four different things. You can use the gifts or just decor around your house. Who is ready to make gifts? So do you hand make your gifts for Christmas? Comment and tell us. So we're going to try to give you some ideas using Chalk Couture, how you could hand make some, hand make some of your Christmas gifts. Won't that be fun? You ready? Yes. All right, so I think I'm going to come over here and zoom in for them. Tell us what you're doing. When you get started, I'll zoom in. When I get started, okay. Um, We're going to be making a... You're the one that came up with this one. All right, mom. so I'll do this one. So if you're interested in purchasing any of our templates, you can go to classychalk.com. Do you want to type that in right there? You can go to classychalk.com. Yep. www. Yep. So any of the templates are, are available for sale on classychalk.com. And if you want to sign up to be a designer under us, you can, and you'll get your product at 40% off. So to be a designer, you um, the, first, the initial price is $99, but they send you tons of stuff. I think it's like $200 worth of stuff. The last video we did, we started unpacking, and it was just amazing to see how much stuff that came with it. But you could also get 40% off your product if you sign up under a designer. All right, so we're going to get started. I'm going to put this over here, and I'm going to zoom in. Let's see, where can I put this? We're getting, um, running out of room. Just don't want to let stuff fall off the table over there. Okay, I'll try not to. Okay. I'll try not to. Alright, so let's zoom in. Alright, so the first thing, alright, this is what I'm thinking. This, first of all, where did we get this? We purchased this at um, a Home Renew type of store. Um, it, it was for a Habitat for Humanity um, 
you know, where you could purchase um, old things that people are not using anymore. Um, but these were, this was a, a cabinet door and I got it for $3. So that's not bad. So what we've done is we've just painted it with some chalk paint, a gray, and we're going to go ahead and use that. We did two coats of the chalk, the chalk paint. All right, so we've got this transfer right here. This is, uh, I guess we're going to use it as a background. I think that would be fun. I'm trying to wipe off all the glitter. Mm -hmm. I put down <laughs> paper towels this time so it doesn't get dirty when we clean them. All right, so Miss K will help me out with getting it started. Hi, Deborah Williams. All right, I think I'm going to get some, um, I'm just going to put it right here on my um, apron a little bit. Whenever I use a new transfer, I just like to get a little bit of uh, fuzzies on it so it, it, it comes on and off easier. I got it. Thank you. All right, do we want to do it in the corner? Mm, it's your design? It's my design, she says my design. But I picked out the colors. She did pick out the colors. All right, where's the thank you? She's going to just, not too hard, we want that thing to come back up. <laughs> All right, that's cool. Okay. What, which, what, what do we got now? We've got this chalkology paste. Now, we like the paste. It's formulated for these um, transfers if you look really closely you probably can't see on camera but there are little holes in the um, it's not open it's not an open word it's actually a little fine mesh so the chalkology paste works really well um, getting into the little mesh pieces now if you were going to use paint what would happen is it would bleed underneath the stencil and it wouldn't do as well. The paste is thicker. Let's look at it. This color is called sand. It's like a light brown. I think it's a taupe. It, it lo looks good with your sweater. Do you want to stir it? Yes. Let me s I gotta smell it. <sighs> it doesn't have a smell at all. So there it is. This is the, um, stir it up a little bit. Now, what's going to happen is we're going to put the paste on and it's going to transfer onto the, um, the cabinet door, which we're now making a sign. And then I'm going to take it off and put it in the Oops. water to wash it off. Right, Miss Kay? Mm-hmm. But then how am I going to do this one under here? We have to let it dry? We, can we do it like really quickly? Or? I think we need to wash it because if we, left, if we lift it up, it'll probably make a mess. Okay. So we'll have to do it, like set it to the side, you think? Here, can you, can you do that? Yep. I'll get it on the side. All right, so here, hand me the... So this was, these are the squeegees that come, this one came in the kit, and all we've done, it came, come, comes with two, I believe, and what we did was we um, cut it in half so that it's easier to get in the paste. Are we ready? Are we? No, I'm not using that big thing. Well, do you we'll use it for this one. Work really fast. We'll use it for this one. Well, we're doing two different colors for that one, remember? All right, sure. so so what we're going to do is, Miss K, do you want to? I don't know why he shows the smallest one. You're right. I messed up. You can't mess up. What am I saying? So we're just using the paste and getting it in all of the little grooves. So you zoom in. And then any of the extra you can just scrape off and put back in the jar. We're making a we're gonna make a mess. <laughs> Everything's not covered yet, Mom. <laughs> All right. I think that's good. She's like, let me scrape off that extra paste. It's probably a good idea, but remember, we don't want it to dry too fast before we're ready. You can't get everything away from me. Oops. Are you ready? Yes. Let's take it off. Can you help, Mom? That 
that's pretty. Do you think we should go ahead and just do the next one? Or you wash sure? it? Probably need to wash, wash it. it. All right, so I'm gonna put it in some water right behind me, and I'll let you see what we've got so far. Isn't that cute? So that's the background, and where there's um, some little areas that we went off with the stencil, we can easily just wipe it off with some water. Well, that paint's gonna come off, come off too, so we gotta be careful. Oh shoot, look what I just did. All right, so you can just easily wipe up your mess, you know, if it comes off the stencil on the side, just like that. And then we're gonna put this one aside. Is that what we're gonna do? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna let this one dry and then we're gonna clean off the stencil, right? Mm -hmm. So what are you gonna do? What do you wanna do? Um, didn't you wanna do the hello? Yes, I'll do that. You wanna wipe this off? Sure. And then don't let that soak. You're gonna have to clean it off pretty fast. So don't let your stencils, Miss um, Kay's over there in the cleaning station, don't let your stencils get too wet. You just wanna wash them off in some water really quickly and then you could dry them off with um, a paper towel and then you use your the disinfecting wipes right here to get your extra paint off of your stencils. You ready? There's one when you're ready. My dog has got a little piece of glittered ribbon hanging off his tongue. Over <laughs> there. <laughs> All right, and this, let's keep up with, um, so this goes over there, with that one. All right, so the next one we have is this uh, plate I got, at this one at Hobby Lobby. It's plastic, and so what I went ahead and did is I used some wax um, to, to, to prime the plate. It's a charger, but I thought it would be pretty to just hold it up like that, you know, with an easel and have the words hello on it. I thought this would be a really cute Christmas gift idea. You know, of course, Hobby Lobby, they have all of the different chargers. What color am I using with this, Miss Kay? White. All right, white. So, you know, they have these chargers for, they're always on sale, aren't they? From all over the place. I mean, at Hobby Lobby, but all different colors is what I was going to say. So we're gonna just put this down here and let me go ahead and zoom in. So you guys can see, I'm just gonna make sure I get it centered. And then use the squeegee to get the air bubbles out. Do you wanna do this one? Or do you want me to, since it's my design? Do you want All right, Miss Kay's already got her design and, and in her mind, I said, let's do this. And she said, well, then you're doing it. We want white or black? I feel like white looks better. Okay. You're doing a good job, Miss K. Isn't she doing good? You guys, let's give Miss K hearts. <laughs> All right. You didn't mix it. <laughs> I don't think we have to mix it every time, do we? Every time. So here it is. This is where we've added the stencil. And is it, can you see the, the um, close-up of the plate? I'm trying to find the camera now that I moved the, the zoom. Isn't that cute? All right, hopefully this is going to make a really pretty Christmas present. If not, it's going to look balls in my office. Because this is the color of my you office. More than that. Yeah, I do. So we're just going to scrape up this goodness.
Now the reason I waxed this plate is because it's a heavy, it's a plastic. Um, and Chalk Couture just suggests that you wax plastic. So that's what we did. We waxed it. They, there's a wax stick that you can purchase. That's good. Wow, you can really get that stuff up, can't you? There you go. She's going to wash that off really quick. And let me just show you how cute is that. And did you see how easy that was? You guys, I'm going to go ahead and put the, um, the lid back on the paste real quick. But did you see how quick that is? Now, how many Christmas gifts could you turn out with that quick method? I'm talking a lot. <laughs> And just a few quick minutes. Now, this would make a beautiful Christmas gift. You um, you could get an easel and just put prop it up on an easel. You could put it on your mantle, your office, um, anything like that. So that's really cute. Anywhere that there is a place where the chalk came off the stencil, you can just clean that up with some water. Don't forget, when you open up your paste that you want to go ahead and use that same plastic uh, top and put it back on so it doesn't dry off. All right, we're going to clean up our hands real quick and then I'm going, we're going to check out the next project. Is that Should one it dry? dry? I'm not sure. Does it look like it? Probably need to dry a little bit more. Okay. Can you use a paper towel on it or no? All right. <clears throat> so let's open it up. Remember, if you want to, you can Actually, get the transfers you feel it. and the chalk paste at classychalk.com. Oh, that's good. All right, so we'll put this one over here out of the way. And we're going to go ahead and get this right here. Yes, the stencils are reusable. As you can see, we just did this one, and see, it's already dry. The transfers. <laughs> transfers. I've been calling them stencils, and Caitlin is correcting me. They are transfers. All right, so I'm just going to line this up. First one goes on easy, and now you're trying to duplicate the okay. same. Yeah. <clears throat> so I'm just going to start in the center <clears throat> and go outward to get all the air bubbles out. I don't want this to get too wet right there. All right. You want to do this one? Don't stir it. We just stirred it. I know. I'm oh. It out. Oh. Okay. Let's see, if you want to, I think you, don't scratch it, you think, I think you lose some of the paste on that thing, here. What? Why are you always using the smallest one, Mom? Because it, it, it fits in there. That's why you scoop it out. See? Don't you love those mother-daughter craft moments? I think you should just Watch your out. fingers. Can't see. Try not to get it on the outside because um, when I wash the the gray paint, it was starting to come off. Okay. So we need to listen. Once you you guys, when you get this on your board, you got it over there. When you get the design made on your board that you like, and you're happy with it, you can seal it. Here, I've got some of my paint, my brush. You can seal it with the sealer. <clears throat> and then it'll make it permanent. We've never layered before, so this is fun, isn't it? Got it? Mm hmm. Right, take it. No, I can't. 
All right, I think we're done. We're gonna get some of that off. <clears throat> yes, Christina, we have the same moments as all mother daughters do. All right, I think that's good. What you think? Mm-hmm. I just don't want it to stay on too long or else it'll dry. And I'm just going to lay this in the water behind me. <clears throat> so if you're at home, you're probably doing this in your kitchen. And you'll be near the water, the sink and stuff anyway. But we've just got a little pan of water behind us. I'm just going to wipe that up real quick. All right. And this is what we've got so far. So now we're going to let this dry. And then we're going to move on to our next piece. So if you're interested in purchasing the transfers or the chalk paste, you can purchase it at classychalk.com. Again, if you want to sign up to be a designer, um, you could get your materials at 40% off. Again, classychalk.com. And um, the, the, pro the package that you purchase when you become a designer is $99, and you get a full kit full of $200 worth of product. And then um, I think there is every month they send you a brand new transfer um, that I don't know, is it available to the public? The designer transfers? I'm not sure. <clears throat> I'm not sure if they are either. Miss Claire might can answer that one. She's on here. But um, they send you really, really pretty transfers, and you get that. And you also get a website. And what else? I mean, it's a, it's a lot of stuff. So a designer, if you're going to be doing a lot of this, it makes sense to me. But I'm loving. So we've got this we've done already. Perfect Christmas gift for someone. And then we're working on... Do you want me to do that and you can get your you, the one you want to do? Mm -hmm. Let's see, which one? Hi, Miss Katie. All right, so here is this one. Oh, Miss Katie, you joined? How cool. You want to do the, I just want to, I want to do the, this one or that one? This one first. All right, let's see. All right, let's tell everybody where we purchased this. Walmart. <sighs> So Ms. K was Can out on a, a hot glue run for me at Walmart. Yes, lots and lots of hot glue. We got lots of hot glue. And um, she found this board and she said, this is a sign actually. It's yes. got a little string and she said, hey mom, wouldn't this be cool for chalk tour? And I said, absolutely. So this is her project that she wants to do. And I'm going to go ahead and wash this off. Um... Uh, we put wax on the oh oh we just put wax on the plate so that the transfer would stay on and um, to seal it you could seal it if you wanted to seal it so it didn't come off but if you didn't you know if I'm gonna put this in my office now I can change it out if I wanted to so I could put fall or something else kiss me under the mistletoe for Christmas well. For this one, I chose to pick a hot cocoa mug um, to get into the winter spirit because it's cold and I like hot cocoa. <laughs> and so that's it. I'm just going to put a hot cocoa mug in the middle of this. It's simple and easy. So tell us about what colors you've chosen and why. I actually just chose, I think I'm just going to do black. And. One of the reasons why is because I would like to do brown, but I feel like the browns that we had would not contrast enough with the board. Yeah, we haven't purchased all the colors yet. We've just gotten a few here and there. Yeah, so I'm just going to use black. Um, actually, this is called charcoal, chalkology paste. And, okay, I guess the first thing I'm going to do is take it off the transfer. Jeanette, thank you. You can watch it from the beginning after we're done. You can watch the replay. Are you going to, like, 
um, fuzzy it up. You see? And then did you mark the back? Yes, you did. All right, so one thing you do when you take your transfers off is you want to put a little mark on the back um, so you know what the back is, and you'll know that the, the sticky side goes on the shiny part. So that's what that is. It's a little mark right there telling her, did you put the cocoa? What's that mean? It's a mug. Oh, mug. Okay, I'm like, what's that right? <laughs> so we don't get confused on which back goes with which. I put mug. With which transfer. Is that center? Let me see. I have to stand over it. I think it needs to go a little more that way. I think you're right. So this is typically the hardest part, isn't it? Just getting it centered. That's a perfect one to show them the mesh on to see if they can see the mesh. I think I, this one. Oh, one. okay. Is it no. centered up and down? Oh, boy. You got this. You got this, girl. Where's all the other paste? Did you put it away? Yeah. It's oh. We could show them some of the other colors we have. Oh, I don't know if that's centered. I'm OCD about this. You got it, girl. You got it. Does that look centered? No. So here are all the colors that we have. Does that look centered to you, Ma? No. You need help? Yes. <laughs> so here are all the colors so far that we've gotten. We I purchased some um, baby transfers too that I can't wait to use. All right, can you help me? You let me get right okay. here, and that way I can stand over it. I think you did a good job. to go whoopsies right there is it too far over that way no if we had a ruler you could measure but it, do you want me to pull it just a little bit i think it's good it's good i it's think good. it needs to come over no my goodness <laughs> okay oh boy If you put your hand down the center, right there, yep. Yeah. Right, and then use a squeegee from the center That's out. That's not center, Ma. Yeah, it is. No, it's, it's more this way. Oh my goodness, this is a process. I think it was pretty. But you gotta make, you're going up too high. You need a ruler? Centering is okay. Just making sure it's still right on this right side. <laughs> uh, that, that's a good thing to check to make sure the hanger is still at the top. Perfect. Go for I it. I think. Move over. Let me see. I think you're right. All right. I'm gonna hold okay. it if you want to squeeze you from the center. <laughs> We've never, never done it on this piece of, of a wood before, so this will be fun. Yes. All right, let me know what I can do to help. We're going to use black paste. Claire's like, just eyeball it and get it over with. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sherry says, working with chalk couture is wonderful for the wreath makers. Maybe you shouldn't stir it on top of this. I'm not. In case it splashes. Are you going to use this big squeegee? Should I? Why not? Okay, so. So you could put some, you know, like, do some, some, some. Just don't, you don't want to, um. Scratch the, it? Yeah, the reason you use the squeegees is so it doesn't scratch the mesh. Okay. Oh, well, gotta work fast. So you need more. You need more. Okay. Just 
here. Go, yeah, go from this direction. It's a lot, Mom. A little goes a long way. It sure does. If you take the squeegee in that direction now. <laughs> yes, Jeannie, the can be reused. What we've done over here, you can't see because we're zoomed in, is we've got a little... Um, Okay. Bottle. Can you scoop that off? Um, not a bottle, but a container full of water that we're just rinsing them off as soon as we use them. You don't want to wait too long. You want to wash them off as soon as possible. So I'm going to go ahead and put these squeegees in the water. How cute! It's really cute. I'll let you see it. Show them. I mean, did you want to put glitter or anything on it? Uh, I don't know. Probably not since it's rusticky. Okay, this is what it looks like. It's simple. That turned out cute. Simple. I'll wash this off. So, do you um, want to put any ribbon? You could now. You could put a ribbon on that. It could be a different color. You know, some type of. Uh, you could do red ribbon or cream colored ribbon. Yes, here's the. Okay. I'm going to zoom out so they can see what we're doing now. Is that good? Yep. So we're just going to wash up. I think it's simple and classy. I think we need to tighten up these screws. Okay. Oh, Should yes. we finish the this one? Yeah, we'll do that one next. Okay. So you want to go ahead and put these um, stencils back on their backing over here. Okay. And then you're going to rinse off the chalk, the um, hot cocoa one. Hi, Jasper. Okay. You did really cute. Do you want to put a different ribbon on here? That's what I was asking. So How? You, you can just staple. We can do that later if you want. Staple, Just staple some ribbon. You could um, do a black and white or some burlap would look really pretty, wouldn't it? But you guys, isn't this cute? This would make a really reminds cute me, Christmas. Reminds me of a coffee shop. A really cute Christmas gift for somebody. Or to put over your hot cocoa bar. So we'll put that over here. Where's the hello sign? Right here. Okay. Alright, so now we're going to move this back in. It is neat, Valerie. We're having fun with this. Right, this one, remember, if you're just joining me, we're playing with Chalk Couture. This was a, um, an old, uh, what do you call it, cabinet door for the kitchen that we picked up at a Home Renew store. I think it's called Habitat for Humanity Home Renew. And we got it for $3. We just painted it with some chalk paint. <clears throat> And now we're going to put the next stencil on top. So this is what we've already done. We layered it with um, a pattern stencil. They they can, they have a, a transfer. I keep calling it stencil. <laughs> and they have a transfer that has all these different neat background patterns. And I could do one over here and one over here if I wanted to. Or I could, you know, try to line it up all the way. But I think I'm just going to do one up here and one down here. And now I'm going to put this sign or this transfer on. And this is what it says. Being grateful for what we have makes what we have enough. So I'm going to put that on right now. Have we used this one before? No. All right. I'm going to go ahead and put on the back. Grateful. If you're interested in purchasing the transfers or the paste, visit our website at classychalk.com. And I'm just putting it on my um, apron to get some of the fuzzies on it. Mm. 
there's our website because when you get a new transfer they're really really sticky and I want to just make sure that it's not going to be too sticky that it like pulls the paint off there so this will be fun centering this one E-N-O-U. Okay, so there's the center. I think I'm just going to... We'll see how this layering goes. This is the first time we've ever layered. So I'm working from the center out. Miss Kay, what colors are we doing? Um, the this is lighter. for these words? Yeah. Okay. So this color is called Caribbean. I wish I was in the Caribbean some days. Some days I wish I was there. Do we have a little? Oh. Squeegee, did you get one? Yeah, I've got a squeegee. I have All right, so I'm going to put that one right there. And then we've got this color, which is called Thai Teal. Man, I always do that. Give me a paper towel, please. I'm messy when it comes to this stuff. I always okay. get it all over my fingers. As much as I oh, Claire, out. so funny. I didn't tell Miss Kay that. What? That, um that you can win cruises and stuff like that with Chalk Couture. And why did you keep this from me? And she's like, why? Um, oh. Did you watch it? It's kind of wet. <clears throat> now, if you ever... Overflow. Okay, I'm trying. If you ever open up your paste and it seems a little dry, you can always squirt just a little bit of water in it. Should we do this at the same time? Did you get both light and... Okay. Alright, so... we got to work fast. I know. Where's the, um... What? The big thing. The big Mac Daddy. I can't believe you just put your hand in there. It's oh, not in the water! Oh, there it is right here! Because <laughs> you can't see. It's like the... What is it called? The... I'm just going to try to, um... Tighten up this a little bit. There. All right, so here we go. We're going to do this one. Can you help? It's not pulling up when I try to join. Hmm. It's Classy Chalk. You want to type it in? ClassyChalk.com. All right, so let's see. What color? We're going to do the light. Where is the other squeegee? That's smaller. That smaller squeegee. I don't know. It's in the it's in the paint. No, the other one for this one. Uh, um, um, there it is. Okay. <laughs> All right. Just washing off our squeegees. Okay. All right, let's go. So we, <clears throat> we're gonna do the light here. All right, so this is gonna be. We gotta do fast because we gotta both. I know. So this is right here is gonna be the blue. Do you wanna go over there with it? Oh boy. Here, let me get this. Yeah. I can't see. <laughs> 
keep it kind of. I can't see mine. We're gonna keep it kind of thick up there at the top until we're ready to scrape it off. You do the bottom. Okay. Here's a little corner over here. Y'all, isn't this fun? We're all concentrating, holding our breath. First time we've ever layered. Shirt. My shirt is in the way. Well, yeah, my sleeve. Can't see. Or my bat. My bat wings are probably in your way. Okay. Did you scrape it off? I think so. Mm -hmm. Well, we don't want to wait too long, Miss K. No, but we don't want to waste. Oh my gosh, either. that's a lot. Hold on. Let yeah, me. we don't want to waste any either. Right here. Okay. Pull slowly so it doesn't pull up the, the background. Oh my goodness. Let's turn, let me put the paint back up and then I'll show you what we got. This is cute. Now, what I'm thinking we could have done is sanded the, um, does it matter? I think we could have sanded that first layer that we did with the background and then wiped it off a little bit so it would um, be a little bit, you know, more rustic. Man, I'm making a mess. Here's the other one. So here's what we've got. This is what we came up with. So we decided to put the um, the grateful and enough in a different color than we did the, the words. So it's a little bit harder to see when we did the layering, but that's kind of good to know. We just wanted to practice to see how it would turn out. Kind of cute, huh? I love that. Now, what I was saying in the, uh, before is with this background, what we could have done is maybe sanded it just a little bit to give it a different, um, you know, make it not as uh, dark to lighten it up just a little bit. All right, so let's see. Open up and show you. If you're just joining us, we made our Hello Charger plate that we got from, this was from Carolina Pottery. It's plastic. So we've got that that we could put on an easel perfect for a Christmas gift and we've come up with our sign right here that we could hang up we could put a string right there and hang it we could actually hot glue some turquoise flowers you know right there to make it you know dress it up just a little bit more which would be really really fun and then Miss K just made her hot cocoa a sign so if you have a hot cocoa bar in your home this is going to look really cute on it that's so cute that would be fun to give as a gift with a um a jar of hot cocoa mix and stuff is it dry already mm -hmm. okay all right let's see what we got going on next miss k the last one that we're gonna do is Project I've been working on. A product you've been working project. on? Project. Oh, project. Yes. I have my own product line. Totally. <laughs> okay. Right. Um, I'm making a cocoa bar sign. Yep. Burlet flowers would be super cute on that sign. Okay. This right. wood I got, I found at Walmart when I went on my glue run. Show them the whole front and back. Okay, this is what it looks like. 
So that's the color on the back. That on the back was what was on the front. Yes. And I sanded it down and I did, what is it called? Stain. It's, it's wood a wood stain. stain. She I used wood an stain. E espresso wood stain. Mm hmm. I think by Minwax. I'm excited to see how this works because there's so many like more grooves. Yeah, so this is a wood. This will be interesting to see how it works. Exactly. So this is the fun the fun thing with the chalk tour is you could just try it on different backgrounds. You could try it on the plastic and the wood and the canvas and you the can do, do um, glass and mirrors. Glass shadow boxes would be kind of cool. Mirrors, okay. windows. I'm going to be using um, this transfer hot chocolate, hot cocoa bar. Another hot cocoa bar. <laughs> this is going to be exciting because this is a big... Can you tell she's ready for some hot cocoa? <laughs> okay. Do you need a... Um, I wonder if they can see the... Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Can you see the mesh through there? Yeah. Can you see like this color? So it's a mesh. It's definitely a mesh. All right now, this will be fun centering this. Oh boy. So these are the ones we've used. Where's our little book? A little book? It's over there. Oh, okay. Okay. We have this little binder that we keep everything in. We were able to organize all of our stencils. I'm going to show them right here. So we could organize all of our stencils. It's just a portfolio book. All right. Okay. I'll go ahead and zoom in. Well, this in. is going to be easier to center because just go in between the lines. Amanda! Thanks, Peggy! We're the dy dynamic duo today. That's centered. Alright, this is, okay. This is the only thing. We'll see. We'll see. It is centered. Cause it yeah, it's perfect. You perfectly centered it, but there's the wood underneath with well, the mesh. Yeah. There's a lot of mesh and a lot of grooves. Because look, when I'm just rubbing it, it kind of moves a little. Mm -hmm. All right. Where's that big squeegee? Did you squeegee it yet? You want me to? Look, see what I'm saying about opening up the top. It's all right. All right, so what do we want to... What do you mean? We need the big squeegee. Yes. I can see it starting to come up, so we got to just be... Hold on. Wait. Let me just try to, I think that's good. Okay. You want me to apply and you squeegee? Sure. All right. That's, when you get a bigger piece, it's kind of good. Oh, we need to be on that side. Let me roll up my bat wings. Yeah, just put it on now. <laughs> Right, but, or should we go again with the green? Oh yeah, that's a great idea. All right, we ready? Mm-hmm. I scared you guys. I'm scared. Should I do the little one or the bigger one? Bigger one. <laughs> this is for scooping out. Okay, just put it across. You gotta, you gotta put all of it off. Mom. <sighs> well, this one you got to work in. More? Mm hmm. Put it right. Oh, great. Keep working. Get on the way. <sighs> this is stressful at the same time because I don't want it to. Oh. 
I want it to dry. There we go. I think that's good. Mm -hmm. You're good. Any extra on that thing that I need to... Yeah. It's drying an egg. Uh -uh. It's all good. Oh, that's all right. That's all right. It's just going to look rustic. That's okay. Do you like a Q-tip? Oh, that's cute. We could get some brown paint and come over that, and nobody will know. No, I'm talking about some really dark paint. Or... <clears throat> I don't know. It's dripping. Don't drip on it. Can't drip it. Yeah. Maybe the, uh... Do the wet paint? I mean, the... We'll come back over it with the paint. Oh, yeah. We can, we can do that one, too. So what what are you gonna do on this now? What else would you want to do on it? Um, I wanted to do that right here. We have to wait for it to dry a little bit. Yeah, we don't have any Q-tips with us. Or else we could have used a, a, a wet Q-tip. Unless you wanted to go run and get some. Yeah. Alright, we'll fix that too with the paint. Yeah, that'll be too big. I think that'll be good. Alright, I have a hair dryer. Mm, oh. So watch out though. Oh. I like this. I like it a lot. Alright. Plugging it in somehow. There we go. Alright, hold on you guys. We're just gonna dry it real quick with the hair dryer. It won't take long. Mix the high. This is what I'm thinking. I don't know if you can hear me, but this is what I'm saying. I think we let it dry and then put our stencils, or the, the transfers on it, and then we can come back over it with some sandpaper and rough it up. Wait, let me see. I have an idea. You're so in game. It's already idea. drying now. Someone gave me an idea to send someone said wet paintbrush. There's no I think you're just gonna spread it. Mm hmm We can why don't you just do the paint on it, brown paint. Okay. Over it. Okay. Do you wanna do that now or you wanna do it later? Uh, this is going to look very rustic -y. I'm telling you, I think we should go over it with the sandpaper. See, they're saying it looks good. Thank you, Mari. She did a good job. What's the next pencil? You know they're all going to bleed a little bit now. Yeah. Um, oh, that's a perfect color. You need, yeah. You need some paper color. Something. Yeah. I'll do that if you want. Here, I'll do that. Here's um, this. 
Do you have a paper plate? Are you going to go get a paper plate or something? I'll, put, I'll give you a pound. Okay. I'll just use this card. Is the wait, Miss K, yes. All right, so Miss K found some paint. We'll see if that works. So the only, the, what we're trying to fix now is just, see, people are saying, see, Jane's saying it's just going to look rustic. She's a little anal sometimes. So we're just going to go. <laughs> you just, I want, do, want them to be able to see the word. All right, well, it'll be fine. You don't have to do that side. Just know this, this one. Yes, ma'am. Wow. There we go. That looks good. Mm -hmm. What say you? Yeah, I like it. Okay. I just wanted to do that little part, not the whole thing. I know, I know. I know. Alright, so now we'll show you what we got. <clears throat> Wherever the camera is. There it is. So we had some of the some of it bleed through, so we just pulled out some paint. And we were able to make the uh, the T and the O a little bit better. Oh. There. It's cute. Now she's going to do something else on this one sign, right? Mm -hmm. I love the color you chose too, Miss K. Yeah. What do we got going on now? What's the next thing? Um. Here's your stencils over here. What is that? Chocolate. So we've got chocolate shavings. Yeah. Are you gonna do I'm that? Sure. And the that color too. I'm gonna do custard. Oh, custard. Okay. And what color was this? Uh, this sand. One, sand. Oh, there's some. Wipe it off right there. So that was sand. And then we've got this uh, transfer that looks like chocolate chips. Has she mentioned? The breakdown for this. Um, we got this at. Would you where we get this? Walmart. Walmart. I'm not sure what how much these cost. I think it was. Go to classychalk.com. Which the wood? No, this stencil. Oh. The transfer. I forgot to write that down. All right. So now what? Okay. I. I think this should be white-ish. White. -ish. white they're marshmallow. They're marshmallow stencils. Okay. I was going to do like marshmallows right mm -hmm. here. And then you got some chocolate. What should we do? <clears throat> chocolate chips. Chocolate chips. Some chocolate shavings. Marshmallows. Let's mm. see, what else is in that stencil thing? I had another one. Oh, you have one? Yeah. I don't know where it is. It was the um topping. Hope it didn't fall. Let's see. It did? It's right here. As soon as you said fall. Oh, that's cute. Little cool whippy. So that's going to be creamy and creamy? I thought that's going to be white. White? And what's this? This going to be white too. All be creamy. All white? Because they're all, it's all white. I love it. I love that. Because it'll be white chocolate, white chocolate, marshmallow, <laughs> and. <laughs> <laughs> making me hungry all right yay put chips on top put chips on top so you have more room oh good idea so she's saying put the chips up here or up there because it's a thicker stencil you see what she's saying or does it matter you mm -hmm. do you do whatever you want to do miss k so if you are just joining in we're playing with some chalk decor that we um where we have these are the stencils or the transfers that we purchased at classychalk.com and we got the 
wooden sign from Walmart, and we put a hot, exp I mean, a, an espresso stain on top of it to make it darker. And it's so funny, I just said hot, like a hot espresso. I don't know, I'm thinking coffee and stuff. All right, get on with the so, decision. Someone was saying how I should just use three transfers and put like a bow in those. That's a corner. good idea, but I don't have any. I'd have to do a brown. I could do a brown bow or something like that. Mm -hmm. I could do a burlap. Okay. If that's what you want to do. Yeah. Okay. So does this look good? Yeah. Okay. So. I guess we're not going to use this one. Alright. So you're going to do all of these in this cream color. Mm -hmm. The custard. Are you going to put them all, let's put all those down first. I guess that's probably what you're thinking. So these, you can make Christmas gifts easily with this chalk couture. Oh, I think I put it upside down. What do you mean? The shadow. No, I don't think so. Okay. Oh, wait. Well, no, there's one up there. There's yeah, a top. I think they're all over the place. So, um, you can quickly make Christmas gifts for the office, for family and friends. Um, here's one that we just did, if you're just tuning in while she's putting that on. Isn't that cute on an easel? That'd be really pretty. Pretty Christmas gift idea. So now she's putting the uh, chocolate shavings on. Let's give a thumbs up for Miss Kay. Isn't she doing a great <laughs> job? All right, are we ready? I think so. We're ready, a spaghetti? Oh, we've never used this one before. Mm -mm. It's one of the new colors. This is one of the new colors that we, oh, not for, uh, for them, but for us. Yeah. Show them what it looks like. This way. Oh, wait, you've got the camera over there. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Aw, thanks, Terry. I'm going to do the marshmallows first. Should we zoom in? Yep, you want me to zoom in? <clears throat> That's as good as we get. You gonna go get uh, with the grain? Yeah. Tell me what I can do to help. Once I finish it, can you like get it off? Mm-hmm. Okay. So here are the marshmallows. How adorable is that? You know, I, remind, just, I just thought of Cracker Barrel. I don't know why. Cracker Barrel? This reminds you of Cracker Barrel? Yeah. I'm going to fix this a little bit. Fix what? That area. Yeah. Chocolate <laughs> chips. That's all right. You want to switch places? Yes, please. We could do actually more marshmallows up there. Okay. Don't you think? Yeah. I guess for like on wood, you can't just like pack it down. You have to do very light coats, or else it'll get like too much inside. 
maybe. We are just engrossed in what we're doing. We are playing with our child couture, making a um, hot cocoa bar sign. <clears throat> you may wash that stencil real quick so you can try to use it again. Sure. So to wash your stencils and reuse them, just put them in the water, rinse them off, and then take a disinfecting wipe and wipe both sides, and then you're going to need it to dry. Looks cute. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, this one's probably ready. So this is what she's got so far. I'm going to put some more over there. I don't know. I think you should. Okay. I don't know. Simple. Is it dry? It's not mm -hmm. Are you sure the paint is dry? You want me to put the yeah. dryer on it real quick? Uh, you want to put the over right here. Don't get paint on it. You're blowing on the face. <laughs> Don't get paint. Up and you did that. You, um, oh, I, didn't, I didn't close it, I was pulling this off. Okay, do you want to do this again? You want to do you can do a charge? You can do it. I don't know. You, you're this is your project, <laughs> Miss K. You need to come do it. Where, what part, what am I doing it on? Right here or right <laughs> over there? Let me think. No, oh, I like that over here. No. Let's see, um, I'm going to see if I can look oh up that gosh. price of that. That hot cocoa. The transfers. Oh goodness, look what I just did. Uh -huh. At least it wasn't on the camera. That's true. I'm looking for the cocoa one. I see Halloween. We've already gone through Halloween. They've got circus. There's the cupcake. They've got one where you layer cupcakes. How adorable is that? Fall leaves and firecrackers and gather. Go to the next page. So I'm looking on our website, classychalk.com, and I'm going to tell you the price of the chocolate bar. Oh, they have Holly Jolly. We should do that. Oh, that's on order. All right, the hot cocoa bar. Is that right? Oh, because it's huge. It's a big piece. That one is big because this is what you get with it. You get this hot cocoa. You get, um, let me go pull out everything that you get with this one.
tell you more about that. All right, so this one is, so this has got the, the, co the big cup with the cocoa on it. And then it has, Caitlin says this is hazelnut. Hazel. And then we've got, is that caramel or something? I thought I was saying it's sugar. Oh, sugar it's surely, cubes. yeah. Sugar cubes, choc the word chocolate chips, and they have this cute little um, thing. Now, you can use this for other designs, so it doesn't have to be for the hot chocolate one. They've got one that says half and half. All of these words right here has creamer sprinkles. Now, she could have done cream she could have done sprinkles all of it around with uh, you know different colors but look at all these words cinnamon marshmallows peppermint chips hot fudge white chocolate and then we've got the little cool whip thing up the top and that's on our page it's got a candy cane I and it's think, got sorry what are those cookies. oreos like cookies cookies, <laughs> cookies. i was thinking of doing like like a little chocolate bar and make a little menu with all the stuff. Yep, and it's got some little squirrely cues. So that, with the paste, and you could get one of these little squeegees. We recommend the um, the small, what is this, the medium? Actually, this is the small, the small squeegee, and you can cut it if you want to cut it or leave it big. And then we got the sign at the dollar, no, we got the sign at Walmart. Walmart. So here is what she came up with. Now what we need over here is a bow, don't we? Yes. Is there a, oh, we don't have, um, hmm. What? I just dropped everything. What do you want, cream color? Do you want a cream color bow or do you want this toffee color? Toffee. Or burlap. Yeah. How are we going to attach it? Uh, I'm not sure. You're the bow expert. <laughs> well, we don't have a sign. We don't have a string yet. Burlap is fuzzy. You better be thinking about how we can attach it. Can I glue it? I don't have the hot glue on. Scissors. Probably could have given me the good scissors. That's all right. Again? I don't know. There's a difference. Miss K, they said it looks cute. Thank you. Staple it. That's what I'm going to do, Jennifer. <laughs> <laughs> we still have to get the little hanger. Yeah. I mean, give me the wire cutters. Don't get your shirt wet. Over here. Yes. Oh, yeah. You want to hand me the stapler under there? It's under this. Let's see which side looks better. Oh, let me get over. Oh. Sorry. Isn't that cute? You want to hold it up for them? Isn't that cute? So um, remember, you can join our team at classychalk.com, or and if you join our team, you'll get forty percent off of your supplies. Sorry, 
I wasn't handing it to you. I was like pointing. You'll get 40% off your supplies. You'll get a, a starter kit with it has a lot. Um, what do you get? Three of these? Uh, or two? Yeah, three. You get three of the paste and you get several of the transfers. Um, you get an apron and you get some um, the chalk, the magnet board or whatever you want to call that. The chalk board, you get that and um, a metal sign too that circle that you could use so if you join the team you as a designer um, you'll get a good starter kit for you <clears throat> and then every month you get some new transfers in the mail so we haven't gotten november's yet or have we no we just got october's yes so we're waiting on november's but then you can have fun um, and you don't have to join as the team you could just purchase it off of our website but look you guys First of all, if you have an Etsy shop or if you sell at a craft fair, how adorable would this be? I mean, do you know how popular hot cocoa bars are right now? This is going to be a hot ticket for sure. So now if I wanted to hang this outside, I would just need to spray it with a sealer so that it, it wouldn't wash off. But that is so cute. That is adorable. Miss Kay did a good job. She needs some thumbs up, I think. <laughs> she needs some thumbs up. So then we made that, and she also made this. So we could put a little bow right here on this side, up on the um, the hanger part. But isn't that cute? Again, we got the sign at Walmart. So it was not expensive at all. And then this one we made. I um, have a hard time picking that one up. So we got this one. This is the, so the um, cabinet doors, remember, that we got from the Habitat for Humanity Reuse store that we just chalked over. And then we got this one at Hobby Lobby, the plate, which is my favorite. So this can go on an easel. That's a quick, quick Christmas gift. Let us know if you have any more questions. If we've missed it, Clara is just the doll, isn't she? She's our upline and she's um, been awesome staying on here and answering questions just love her for that um so if you if she hasn't answered her questions or um some of our other team members haven't answered her questions we'll come back in here and answer them for you after the video is over i hope we've inspired you i hope you get excited and start wanting to make some homemade christmas gifts um so think about family and friends and office and you know who else <laughs> i think that's it right family and friends and office <laughs> All right, so you guys have a blessed day, and um, we'll catch you later on our next Facebook Live. The, the button's over there. How do I do it? You click the red? The red? I'll slide. You do it. Okay. <laughs>